All right, let's see if we can get a sneak shot with a hollow point off on little mama here. Just see how this goes. We get a little bit closer. We do have the silencer on too, so that's kind of taking away some of the. Well, that did it. Okay, we one shot her for sure. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18. I am an old guy gaming, and we play this game on the same difficulty. Uh, the zombies are all set to nightmare speed all the time, day and night, all of the time. And it is crazy hard, and we have a lot of fun playing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, in this episode, uh, we're going to uh, retrieve the supplies. Uh, so we're doing that uh, Tier 2 quest that's in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, I just spent the night mining resources, so uh, I mined up a whole bunch of nitrate. And it mined up a whole bunch of lead. And the lead is currently uh, cooking here in um, the furnace, or uh, the whatever this thing's called, the forge. And what I want to do is I want to make a bunch of bullet tips here um, because I found, I don't remember exactly when I found this, but I found the uh, Pistol Pete book volume 5 um, and read that. So now I can actually make a hollow point ammunition. Um, and they will, of course, pack more of a punch when we uh, shoot zombies with it. What was that? Uh, inflict 10% more damage with 9 million weapons. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, basically, uh, what I want to do is I want to... Uh, excuse me, I want to... Well, let's make up, like, say, 100 bullets, because it takes two bullet tips per bullet on the hollow point, instead of just one. And then that'll give us 50 rounds of hollow point, and we'll kind of play around with those and see, you know, how well they do. Um, otherwise, we're doing pretty good. Um, and yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna do that quest today. So let me um, I'm cooking some bacon and eggs in here. Let me just finish up um, those bullets, um, and then I will meet you at the quest location. We'll do that, and then we'll go turn that stuff into the trader and make ourselves some hollow point ammo. On second thought, no, I'm going to go to the trader first, get the hollow point ammo going, and then we'll do the quest and then come back and get it so that way it's done. Not that it's going to take that long, but it'll take a little while uh, for all that to do. Uh, all right, I think we're good to go food and drink wise. So I'm just going to put those in there. And yeah, let's go ahead and take off. So yeah, I will see you guys. Um, I'm just going to wait for this to hit 100. Uh, you know, so we'll make 50 and then I'll see you guys uh, Probably at the quest location and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit Alright guys, uh, so we just went up a level. Uh, I've just been mining uh, some of this coal here um, in this uh, mine while I was waiting for uh, the hollow point ammo to finish. So I made about 50 rounds. They should be finished when we get back. And uh, we'll just try those out. Now, um, they, they're actually really poor against armored targets, which of course makes sense for hollow point ammunition. But I don't think any of the zombies are considered armored armored now I don't know that for sure uh, so if we you know if we if we're hitting one that uh, like I don't know the biker for example that could potentially be considered as having armor and we're just not doing any damage um, you know that could be an indicator uh, but anyway we made we made 51 so we're just gonna try this out now I've got a whole bunch more gunpowder uh, cooking up in the Kim bench out there uh, a lot, in fact. So, you know, I, I still have 700 more to go, and I already have 100 there. Um, so, you know, we'll be able to... Here, let's grab one more of those. Let's get another batch going, but I'll, I'll come back. I'll get these when we come back from uh, from the quest. So, oh, no, I won't. We don't have... I used up all the bullets. Okay, never mind. Uh, so I guess we won't be doing that. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to just chuck that uh, sand and stone for now and probably even the clay and can i sell feathers 
I don't think so. I think I'll keep the feathers. I don't want to throw those away. Okay. So, uh, anyway, we got a point. So let's take a look at that. And we, get, we need to eat, too. So let's have another thing of food to get our cap back. And uh, so as far as points go, I haven't really, um, haven't really thought about this. So we've got 69er and Mother Lord, but we can't get any more of those or Master Chef until we get more uh, attribute points. Perception is also kind of in the same boat. Now we have I have thought about doing lock picking so we can actually make lock picks. So that's tempting to do there. I'm not really interested in you know in doing uh, spears on this playthrough since I'm kind of doing that on my current dead is dead playthrough. Um, so I think we've got archery at five, gunslinger at five, run and gun is only at one. And from the shadows, of course, I'm not really so worried about from the shadows now. Uh, this is still going to be a good one, of course, for us to do in the agility tree. The other thing we could do is just, you know, bite the bullet and get, you know, Grease Monkey, uh, which requires intellect level two, so that we can start working towards a bike. I mean, the thing about this, though, is I just, I have this feeling like, you know, we're going to, I'm going to take the point and then we're going to find the damn hook. <laughs> But we don't know that for sure. And you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. That way that way we can do it, right? Uh, so our next point, we'll be able to buy Bicycle Mechanic. And if we happen to find, you know, the Bicycle Book before that time happens, then, you know, you know, then we'll just, we won't have to take this point here. And, you know, we will have taken an extra point. In fact, they probably wouldn't have otherwise taken, but it's okay. Uh, and, and you know what? That does actually help our junk turret. And we are using the junk turret. So that was not a wasted point by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I did mention earlier that I'm not planning on specking way into this for the vehicles. And I probably won't. Uh, so probably after the bicycle, you know, mini bike and anything beyond that, we'll probably either buy from uh, the trader or, you know, eventually find the, the schematics for that. Okay, so... Uh, this quest is over here, so I will meet you over there, and then we'll get started with the uh, quest here. Here we got a victim here. Let's let's try a hollow point out on on her and see what happens. I want to get a nice straight shot here, if possible. All right. Well, one round didn't take her down, but we are playing on insane. Two rounds didn't take her down. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I, I can kill a regular zombie with three rounds of, of normal 9 mil. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to... Not, it's too early to tell, of course. Uh, but, you know, those sneak shots... You know, that's something we ought to be looking at, too, actually. Um, go back to agility. We should probably put be putting more points into hidden strike, which we, we you know we'll do that eventually. I really would like to get at least a bicycle though, because I am so tired of running around all over the place, and it sucks up our stamina too. So that that is definitely going to be the next thing we're going to go towards. All right, let's see if we can get a sneak shot with a hollow point off on little mama here. Just see how this goes. We get a little bit closer. We do have the silencer on too, so that's kind of taking away some of the. Well, that did it. Okay, we one shot her for sure. Okay, so this is the house that they want us to clear, huh? Well, this ought to be interesting. Tier 2 fetch. All right. Let's go ahead and. Change a couple things up here. We're going to get... Whoop. Let's put our shovel there. Um, Might want to... Let's see here. We're going to want... Spikes in one spot for sure. And then I guess we're going to need something to break stuff. So probably those. Uh, that set up there. And maybe what we'll do too is let's switch back to normal... Uh, bullets until we you know get to a point where we have like a bunch of zombies or something and then we'll go from there okay so 
looks like um, hopping in right through here is where we need to go. Uh, I need to start the timer again, too, so let's do that. All right. So I'm not seeing anybody right here. That looks a little interesting up that way. Got a little bit of lead. Let's remove these things because that alerts sleepers to our presence. Could be somebody right inside the closet there. But we can't put spikes directly in front of it because of the sills on it. All right, so in that, let's just um. And look at that. There, I'll bet there's stuff behind all those things up there. Okay, there's some bookcases. Let's go ahead and there we go. Just take him out with the gun. All good? Okay. Got a couple bookcases. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess we'll take that paper. Uh, what is... Let, let's just look at this. What is it? Uh, kill some disturbed tourists. These are Hawaii Five O's. Uh, you know, hmm, we could maybe do that. Let's accept it. For now, and we'll see. Because uh, disturbed tourists are, you know, they're hard to kill, but they are slow. So at least we could get away from. Ooh, machine gunner! You can you can craft drum magazine rounds for automatic weapons and turrets. Very nice. Okay, we'll take that for sure. And then what do we got in here? Uh, contact grenade schematic. Okay, I might might put that to work uh, or to use later on. We'll have to see. Okay, we got box here with nothing in it. What about up here? Yep, moldy backpack. With scrap chest armor and some alacrim, seven alacrims. Uh, okay. Can we can we make bandages on this playthrough? I can't remember. No, no, we can't. Oh, maybe we can. I can't remember. I think. Oh yeah, we can make bandages. Yeah. The reason why I'm, I sound confused about that, in case you guys didn't know, is I already I have a um, I have a dead is dead uh, permadeath series going too on the channel and so you know, sometimes i get a little mixed up between this series and that series as to where i'm at and what's going on so all right we might get somebody popping through that door there um this might be worth repairing and selling it probably isn't though yeah let's let's just grab that let's just grab that all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to spike the door. Um, and then let's remove this uh, crap down here. Whoops. All right. There's very likely a zombie right inside of here. See, what did I tell you? <laughs> okay. And do we have anything up there? Nope. And nothing up there. So, let's see. Our satchel is uh, does appear to be on this floor. In fact, it's very, we're very close to it right now. So, we're sure it's not up here? Nope. Okay, could be in the other room, could be in the wall. So let's go ahead and take this out now. I'm sure glad we have this silenced pistol because it definitely helps. Yikes. I don't want anybody going through that hallway. Uh, definitely helps, you know, with 
using this without alerting all the zombies in the whole damn house. Kind of like to know what's on the other side of there, but let's get that out of the way. Okay. Um, same plan here. Probably a Zeke in there. So, let's... Actually, no. Let's just close that door. That'll buy, that'll buy us a couple minutes. Or not a couple minutes, a couple seconds. Okay, let's deal with the one in here that's most likely in here. Maybe. Hello? Oh, zombie, are you in there? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, there's our satchel. And that satisfies the quest. And we get some more 762 rounds. Always a good thing. Oh, and some BDU bottoms. Nice. What are we wearing for um, pants right now? Oh, we're wearing gothics. That's six cold and eight heat. What are these? That's seven cold and eight heat. These are just a smidge better. So let's sw let's swap them out. Modify. We'll take the pocket off of here. And uh, modify. All right, cool. So just a tiny, tiny little upgrade there. Always a good thing. Let's get rid of the glass. We don't need that. I think I'm going to chuck the lead too. All right, so we've accomplished the quest. So I, even if we bite the dust, we should still be able to turn it in. But uh, we might as well, since we're here... Um, Let's scrap that and we'll keep these. I'm pretty sure I have hot weather pants back at the base, but I'm not 100% positive. So. so let's go ahead and just keep going through this house and we'll check it out. And um, maybe we can... Maybe we can... Let's try this. There we go. See, that? <laughs> that's what we can use the hollow points for when we can get a, a decent sneak shot off like that. Um, yeah, let's just keep, keep exploring this house and check it out. And maybe what we can do is, uh, you know, hopefully we'll find the end, the end treasure and get some fat loots. I'm fairly sure that the fun pimps have removed pistols from toilets. Because I have not seen any pistols in any toilets in a very, a very long time. Scrap that. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so this is how we get to the other side of our that little barricade there. <clears throat> Zombies have been hitting on the wall there. Interesting. All right. Let's go around this way. We don't need to worry about anything coming immediately from there. So let's take this out of the way. Right, there's a Zeke right there. Um, what I want to do, let's turn our light off. And let's see if we can break this. Oh, there could be Zeke's in there too. Yowzers. Okay, what I'd like to do is close <clears throat> that door to get give us a little bit of time in case somebody comes through that way. I'd really like to know if there's somebody in there. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I just want to see if there's one or two zombies going to come. Oh, is he not coming?
Goodness gracious. You know, one thing I don't like about this game is that if you hit the right mouse button and then release it, it stays sighted in. I would I would prefer that it only stays sighted in when I'm holding on to the button. Oh, so that was loud. Okay, um, let's go back in here again. And let's see if anybody's in here. Hello? Doesn't look like it. All right, what do we got? Got a purse. With some something to drink and some shotgun shells. Beautiful. And another college jacket. All right, we'll hang on to that for the moment. How much is that worth, by the way? 70 coin. Yeah, that's not bad. Anything up there? Search cupboard. What cupboard? I don't see any cupboard. That was weird. Hmm. Really weird. All right. What's in here? Oh, yeah. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Nothing behind those guys. Okay, so we could go this way or we could see what's over here. Uh, since this is already partially busted, let's just pop a hole here and take a peek. See what's going on. All right, so that gets into a closet on this side. Oh, we've already been there. That's right. That's the room that we looked in the bookcases. So what's that door doing? Let's just go look. Ah, okay, so it just opens up out to here. I never popped that, but I don't think anything's going to be behind there in there anyway. Not likely. Well, we have to remember to check these the vent, and uh, the, there's an open area up here too before we leave. Okay, so we're almost, uh, we're going to be encumbered here, but let's just, let's just keep going for a little bit longer. So we came out that way. Okay, here we go. New territory. That must be, I guess, the entryway. Did we come through there before? I can't remember. Oh yeah, that's how we got into the house. Okay. We'll check these cupboards. Nothing there. That goes out into the garage. That's interesting. Okay, let's close that door for the minute. Uh, the minute, the moment. Got a food thingamadoodle here with some beer. Nitrate, some dye, worthless can. <laughs> okay, uh, we don't need that. We will scrap this. Uh, we don't need four things in nitrate. We could, uh, if we could come up with a couple more how much cloth do we need to bandage we need two right yeah okay so if we can come up with 14 cloth then we can turn all of those into bandages let's go check out into the into the garage here okay are we dealing with one zombie I think so yeah Looks like just a skater punk. 
Oh, here comes another one. Oh man, we don't want to get hit by him. That's like infection waiting to happen there. Here, let's uh, switch to these two because he's not armored. Break that door, buddy. Okay, 